Hi, I'm going to show you how to translate strings. This is our translation portal. You can choose one you want to translate. Then you come into this page to translate. First, you can change your views in the one of three modes, preview, side by side, and group by pattern. We usually choose side-by-side -side mode during translation. After choosing side-by-side, -side, you can find everything to translate on the left. In this area, you can see the original English text to translate on the left and see the preview of your translation on the right. Here, you can find a button with a photo-like icon. You can translate images here. We have a tutorial on how to translate images. Check it out. You can do the smart translation by clicking this button. You can do translation in the right half page. Let me introduce you to some functions that you might want to use. You can click test you want to translate and it will show up here. There are some strange strings here. You don't want to translate them. Wondering which strings should translate and we should now. We have a tutorial for this as well. Check it out. You can type in your translation directly in this box. Clicking arrows here helps you to go to the last or next one to translate. This button looks like two pieces of paper. If you click this, you can copy and paste the text for translation here. If you click triangle here, a discussion area will show up. You can see all comments from various language teams on this one. You can post comments as well. By clicking terms here, you can search glossaries in case you are not sure how to translate some subject specific terms. You can close this small you can close this small window by clicking this little triangle. To see translation history, you can click the button here. It will redirect you to a history page which you can find every single change when the change was made, and who made it. Let's look at the three tabs here. This one gives you machine translated suggestions. This is my favorite. When you click the translation, it will be automatically pasted in the translation box. Then you can just edit it manually. It could save you a lot of time. If you want to see how other language teams translated this one, you can click here. If you click search TM, which means translation memory, you can search phrases to find out how people translate them previously. It will ensure the translation consistent. This small box here is the context tab. If you click this, you will see the box pop up. You can search strings among the tags of current page here. Here's another function I'd like to show you guys. If you click this tab right down here, you can change your translating language. Say if you want to translate it into Polish, you choose Polish and then click change. You can also go to the project page by clicking this.